Yo, what's up? Uh, we continue with the installation of Nextcloud, but now we're gonna install the database server and configure our database. In our case, we're gonna use uh, Postgres following the desire of our friend that I talked about in the first video. Let's just try to save time and jump directly to the installation. So in our case, we should run the command that I'm gonna uh, write here. You can find it in the wiki of the wiki of Fedora itself. It's here. Yep. So the command should be like this. Press enter. Yes, this one is missing. Make sure the syntax is all right, is correct, so you don't face any error about it. That's the last thing that you need to worry about. There might be other errors that you need to care about. Once the installation is done, uh, you run this command. And then you run this command like this. And then you can start the service like this. Okay, as long as it did not give any error, it means that it's working. But just to make sure, we will check by running this command. All right. Now we need to make the database the way it says here because I refer to multiple wikis this can get you confused just focus on this window the commands that I'm gonna run here make sure that you run them the same way I run them so you don't get confused and then this one you enter to your postgres you run this command I'm just copying and pasting, make sure it's the same, enter, and then you uh, create the user, like this, your next, this one, next cloud user password, you put the password that you're, you, that you're gonna use, in my case I'm just gonna make it simple, don't do this if you're doing it on a production machine on or on an environment where you're gonna depend or you're gonna need security be careful because it's it can be uh, predicted if the password is easy like this next one is like this we just we just copy and paste this is very similar to mysql itself but there are some different differences that we're gonna reach soon we're gonna see uh, soon or sooner or later okay so the next thing we do is this, we run this command, like this, you choose a password, whichever it is, make sure it's strong and good of course, okay, and then you leave, control D. What should you do next? What you should do next is this, you go to this file. And then use any text editor. I'm just gonna use nano. And then scroll down to the one where you find the uh, 127.0.0.1. Change it to MD5. Uh, MD5. And then uh, save and leave. Next thing you do is you run this command. Make sure you run the commands that I have written one by one. Enter, you put the password. Uh, yes, here you restart the service. Here, this service you restart it. That error happens when you don't restart the service. Look now, it's working. See? So this was the configuration for Postgres on Fedora. I hope it's clear, you install it and everything.
I hope I didn't uh, do it very fast. Let's try to recap a little bit. So the first thing you install run in this command. Is it clear? I'll make it bigger for you. Biggest possible, no problem. Okay, so this is the first command. Uh, yes. Next one is you enable the service. And then you run this command, and then you start the service, and then you check. You can check the service if you want. You don't need to run this command necessarily. I just did to check. And then you run this command. Uh, you are the user. The, co the commands you find them here. I'll put them in the description. Okay, and then uh, you go to this configuration file. You change the line that is uh, right here, this line, you change it the way I said, okay? And then uh, you restart the service of Postgres and then you can run this command to check. It's working as you can see, okay? I hope it's clear. Thanks for watching. See you in the next part. We will do Nginx.